You need Visual Studio. It's so expensive. And it only runs on Windows. Stop the excuses, it's not true. Developing C Sharp in Visual Studio code is simple, doesn't cost anything, and it provides a great cross platform developer experience. Open Visual Studio code and install the C Sharp Dev Kit extension. It's the only extension that we need and provides everything we need to develop C Sharp applications. After the installation, the welcome screen allows you to connect your Microsoft account, install the .NET SDK and create new .NET projects. You can use the .NET version command to see if you already have a .NET SDK installed. Otherwise, make sure to install the current version. We can use the Ctrl Shift P shortcut to open the command palette. The C Sharp Dev Kit extension added new commands, including the .NET New Project command. We use it and select the console application project type. If you haven't opened a directory, Visual Studio Code will ask you where it should create the project. We can also provide a project name. The extension creates a project, including a program.cs file and a solution file. In the program.cs file, we change the code from hello world to hello from Visual Studio code. We open a terminal and change directories into the project folder. Next, we use the .NET run command to execute the console application. As you can see, the text hello from Visual Studio code appears in the output. Let's quickly extend the example. I define an int variable named age and assign 32. Next, I print the value to the console. I click on the left of the row number to set the breakpoint. Next, I open the run and debug menu, press the show all automatic debug configurations and select the console application. The user interface changes and we can use the green run button to launch the application with a debugger attached. We can navigate the code using the visual overlay or using keyboard shortcuts. The context menu provides us with different options. For example, we can use the find all references command. We can also use different shortcuts such as F2 to rename a variable in the whole code file. The C Sharp Dev Kit provides many helpful features that enhance the developer experience. If you want even more help, you can install the GitHub Copilot extension, which is also available for Visual Studio Code. We can also use code snippets that come with the C Sharp Dev Kit extension. For example, we can use the try snippet to generate a try catch code block. There are additional snippets to create classes, constructors, properties, and much more. We can use the Ctrl T shortcut and search for code symbols. For example, we can jump to classes, properties, or different code files. It's great for a simple tutorial, but does it also work for production use cases? Well, let's create a Blazor server application using the command palette. Visual Studio Code generated a whole Blazor server application for us. We can compile and run the web application using the .NET run command. Let's make a few changes to the code. As you can see right now, they are not reflected in the browser. Let's stop the application and use the .NET watch command instead. It will launch the web application in the browser again, but this time, when I change the code in any Blazor component and save the file, the changes are instantly reflected. Pretty cool, right? As demonstrated, we can use Visual Studio Code to develop modern .NET applications. The C Sharp Dev Kit provides us with a command to create new projects from directly inside Visual Studio Code.
and it adds code snippets and allows us to conveniently navigate the source code. Drop your excuses and start developing c -sharp applications with Visual Studio Code. If you found any value in watching this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to learn more about .NET development. And I'll see you in the next video.